Hey guys, it's Bob Firmgren and I'm back with another eight minute video. Uh, kind of showing you my lake here. I'm actually on my dock. House is back there. Uh, and I'll get back to it. Why, why did I come out to the lake to do this video? Well, hey, I've been talking to you about simple discipline. Simple disciplines to be successful in network marketing. The truth is, without discipline, you're probably not going to get anywhere. No, no, I'll take that back for a second. Here's what I've seen. I've seen people with massive influence come into our industry, and they're not really disciplined, but because they're influential, people want to do what they're doing, so they have some short-term success. Now that short-term success could be three months, could be six months, could be three years, but it always ends up kind of petering out over time because they're not disciplined. And so guess what kind of people they attract? People with less influence and certainly less discipline. So I've talked to you things like, hey, you've got to set aside time five, six days a week. It's gotta be committed, it's gotta be done. And I've also told you that setting aside time to work your network marketing business, action in network marketing, is talking to people. Now, talking to people in, in this era can mean a variety of ways. It can certainly mean over the phone, it can mean face-to-face, -face, it can mean through a message on some social media platform, but that's really the only action in our business. You're either talking to people, building relationships, prospecting for, following up, helping them get the results and whatever they're looking for. And all of that can only happen when you're actually communicating with a human. So that's one thing, right? The other thing is there's a commitment in terms of following a system. Now, every network marketing company I've ever heard of has systems, success systems, for doing their business. I'm gonna share with you my system, our system over time here, but everyone has one. Now again, influential people may go off and do their own thing, don't follow a system, and what happens? The type of people they attract don't follow the system and those people have less influence. And of course we know that business ends up petering out and those influential people typically bounce around a lot and then over time, they have significantly less influence in whatever they do. So I'm not picking on influential people. I love them. One of my favorite things is converting an unteachable influential person into having disciplines and following a system because now an influential person who has disciplines and follows the system is going to attract and build a team that has people that have discipline and follow the system. And that's all about duplication, which we'll talk about in another one. But here's what I wanted to talk to you about today in today's eight minute video on network marketing. One of the simplest disciplines you can have is having goals. Are you aware that 80% of people fail? Think about a life that has the word fail next to it. 80% of people fail, aren't going anywhere because they don't even know what they want. 16% have goals. 4% actually have them written down. Only 1% has them written down and reviews them regularly. Now guys, this isn't rocket science. And I'm gonna talk to you about things like your reticular, excuse me, reticular activating system and the power of you know, really knowing what you want over time. But think about it. Would you follow someone who doesn't know where they're going? <laughs> Would you really follow someone? Well, I, I'm just doing this network marketing business. Yeah, but where are you going with it? Well, I'm, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. You wouldn't follow that. However, would you follow someone who said something to you like this? You know what? I found an opportunity. I'm really excited about it. I see it as a way that we're gonna be able to pay off all of our debt, and once our debt's paid off, you know, one of our passions is that we love to travel, and we don't wanna put it on credit cards, so we're building this 
side hustle, if you will, so that we can travel and do it all on cash. I don't know about you, but that sounds a whole lot more attractive than uh, I'm doing a network marketing business. So you see, how do you even get those goals? Well, my suggestion to you is something I learned from one of my mentors from the past, a gentleman by the name of Ron Reynolds. You could simply start with getting out a legal pad and literally writing down every single thing you want. Now this could take you some time. Maybe you haven't really thought about what you want. Well, you only got one life. I don't know when you're gonna figure out what you want. Take the time to figure out everything you want. Write it down, write it down. It doesn't matter. There's nothing selfish about that. Matter of fact, if you're an adult, the best thing you can do is want stuff and go for them because you're an inspiration to your family, to others around you. You're kind of a loser if you're not really going for stuff in life. You're just like hanging out here and life just goes by. The other thing you can do is you can write down everything you don't want, you know? But here's my encouragement for you. Once you've seen that list, you're gonna see that most things group in certain areas, like your health. I would be very specific about your health. What do you really want your health to look like? You know, if you're carrying 40 pounds of extra belly fat and you don't even have that on your list, well, that's gonna probably affect the rest of your list. I would have financial goals on there. I would have lifestyle goals on there. I would have giving goals on there. You know, I would have ways of per personally growing on there. Now you can categorize them however you want, but you're gonna find most of the things that you want fall into certain categories. I would lump them there. And then we all know I'm not gonna hide it. It's gonna take money for you to achieve most of what you want, right? And some discipline to do that. And so it's not the money, it's the goal, right? So say by this time next year, you want to be earning, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever that is to you, so that you can pay off your credit cards, so that you can then accumulate money for your vacations. There's a goal. Do you see how simple that was? Now, some of you have never written goals, so maybe you just need to start out with some simpler goals, like, you know, a certain number of new people you're gonna talk to every day, have it written down. A certain monthly level you're gonna achieve in your company, write it down. I would write down everything, but here's the power of all this. Here's the power of it. I would also speak it. So as I record this today, it's about 9.30 Eastern time. And uh, I've been up since about 5.30 a.m. Eastern time. And I have already written out all of my goals. I've written out my purpose. I've made a complete list for the key things that I'm grateful for in my life. And I have spoken over 60 phrases, words of affirmation over my life. And I do that every single day. I'm gonna teach you more about that, but we're already past the eight o'clock. I'm gonna finish with this doc story. Or we're already past the uh, eight minutes. Hey, listen, this doc didn't exist five years ago. I mean, there was, there was an, a doc that kind of looked like that. Um, and it was falling apart quickly. And uh, so I knew I was gonna get a new doc. So I started getting this vision. Well, I want the biggest, I want the best. I started writing those things out and then I started interviewing people and getting bids on people that do docs. And here's what I was told for this ridiculous doc I'm on. This is a ridiculous doc. I'm actually on a double decker doc. I don't know if you can tell that. This is the doc. I was told it's not legal. I was told you would never get approved. I was told it can't happen. You know what I